day three in Dar es Salaam and um, it's beautiful so far, I really like it and we are supposed to go to Fun City today we are supposed to go to Fun City with a few friends and my cousin and uh, I'm looking forward to it honestly I want my inner child to come out today so hopefully it will be really fun and I've seen a lot of water slides which reminds me which reminds me that um, I have to pack my swimsuit yeah because I've seen a lot of slides like I googled it fun city and then I was like okay I saw a lot of water slides so that means that I need to pack up a few swimming costumes so um, I really want to try those I feel like it's so fun I don't know how to swim I know I'm, I'm embarrassed I mean, that I don't know how to swim at this age but I don't know how to swim but I'm still going to follow water slides you guys whatever happens happens we are up for it okay I don't know I'm trying so hard to find a way to style um, these braids but it's giving me a hard time I don't know uh, oh so you guys let me you like it held up or when it's down I don't know it's giving me a hard time I don't know how to feel about these butterfly locks I usually don't look good in short hair I look good in longer hair but I don't know why I decided to risk it by going for something that I know won't look good on me but this is not bad Oh my god, so we're here. Fun City, we are at Fun City. Hello. How is it here? Sorry? How is it here? No, it's lovely. You're going to enjoy it. Actually, I love it. Hello. Hello. Oh, hey. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's still going hard, guys. Yes. Yeah, can you take us there? Okay. Yeah, okay. It's on our way to where we stay. To the street. Oyster Bay. This is near near nearby hotel there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. Now we can go and rest. <laughs> you have to rest now. Yeah. <laughs> this has been intense. Okay. Alright guys, this is the kitchen area. This is in Dar Salaam. It's a cute small space. Mm -hmm. We have this chair here, my absolute favorite because it's direct to the TV. So this is the kitchen, right? And this is where we watch TV. So yeah, and this is like a small living room and art. I love this. Look, so African. I love it. This is the bathroom. It's tiny but cute. Everything here is tiny but cute and my favorite like look at that this is the bed how awesome is the bedroom so good and curtains and there these are suitcases over here and the mirror <laughs> yeah that's it hello so right now i'm heading to get tickets for miss east africa which is a show that's taking place tomorrow and south sudan is actually participating and angela mohammed is going to be representing us so currently i'm going to go get the tickets and uh, tomorrow is the show that's supposed to take place and i'm so excited you guys like i'm just excited to see all the beauties of east africa on one stage and i'm just wishing south sudan all the best i mean she's come from far and she's actually my friend so i'm here to support her all the way in Dar Salaam. also um uh, it's my first day stepping out by myself in Dar Salaam city i have never gone out by myself i always go out in Dar Salaam with friends since i came here and uh, so i kind of just got used to being with people that know places so i never really bothered to know but now i'm stepping out by myself for the first time and i'm just like okay i hope i don't get lost much i hope i finish all the errands that i intend to do which is get the tickets uh, for my friends for the show for miss east africa which is going to be tomorrow and um, also do some mini sh grocery shopping because we live in an airbnb with my cousin so i have to get groceries as well and also i have to go somewhere there's a third thing i have to do so i'm running a few quite few errands in one day by myself yeah in a new in a new city and a whole new country should be interesting i like adventure and i like a challenge so let's see how the day is going to go i'll be updating you and i cannot wait for tomorrow i cannot wait for miss east africa okay so here i just came to see angela and this is where they're living as contestant this is their apartment and today is a busy day for them actually they're doing their hair and their nails but i came to surprise her because it's her birthday and i wanted to tell her happy birthday and also just see if she's okay and just make sure that she's not uh, nervous and she's excited just to kind of let her know that i'm hey i'm here and i'm here to support you they have a very lovely apartment though these apartments are very very lovely and absolutely like i spent uh some i spent like an hour there actually catching up with her and i made new friends as well but yeah from here i'm just going to go to wasafi and this is wasafi tv media actually Okay, now that I'm done with Wasafi, I'm going to go shop and get a cake for my friend as well, whose birthday is today.
what's up oh my god you guys so i'm back to the house finally and it's late i'm actually come back to the house i've eaten dinner now i think i'm going to go take a shower and i'm going to sleep um maybe watch a movie a bit and then sleep so the whole day was just awesome you guys i did more than expected what i would do remember how i was like i don't know how the day is going to turn out and i don't know places i've had a blast okay so i went out did grocery shopping bought a few things that we needed and then uh, of course also i went to a safi tv to pick up tickets for miss east africa and then i ended up you know doing a whole tour in wasafi media and oh my god you guys won't believe i saw diamond platinums i saw him oh it was this great experience he said hi from afar and i said hi from afar but i was like i needed to get a picture for the you know for the people because someone commented on my facebook is like i won't believe that you met diamond unless you take a picture with him but hopefully tomorrow is miss east africa um i'll let you guys know how it goes hopefully i get to meet him there tomorrow and take a picture and um also just today was awesome oh my god i bought a cake for miss east africa south sudan and she's actually my friend and uh, she's contesting as well so i'm here to support her sister and i'm here also as a journalist as a radio personality so it's all in one but it's all amazing you guys i'll put this vlog together for you to see how everything is turning out to be and i'm a bit exhausted you can tell that i'm tired but okay we move while we were going to Moshi uh, we all had to pretend that we only understand English yeah, even Prof Jeff was yeah, the one Prof. driving yeah, yeah. he also acted Swami. like he does not understand Swahili at all <laughs> so most of them can't speak English yeah. so they just let you go like I <laughs> so we are in the market right now yes that's Florence and that's sarah we had actually spent a very long time in the market till evening Officially, we are leaving Dar es Salaam, going 